How's it going everyone? I'm back again. I'm out here in Minnesota today. The bass season is finally open here so we're gonna hit the river and see if we can catch some smallmouth. I've got my kayak all loaded up. Let's go get them. We'll work our way upstream first. We usually find a couple smallies right up in this little area up in front of me so I think that'd be a good place to start today. I think I've got myself anchored in a perfect little spot here. There's a nice gravel bar up here off to my left and off to my right there's a little eddy with some logs laying down in there. I'm going to start off over here on this side. I'll toss a jig through there and see if we get a reaction out of something. There we go. Very first cast. Oh, it's not a bass though. That's a pikey. Oh, you mean old pikey. <laughs> well, hey, we're on the board at least. Get that guy back in the water. Before he slimes me up too bad. I'll show you guys what I'm using here. So I've got a quarter ounce VMC Neon Moon Eye Jig, and then I've got a Bass Assassin Elite Shiner. This is the matte shad color. Looks like it should be pretty good for some smallies. I don't know if I've ever tried that color, but got clear water out here, the sun is shining. I think it should work pretty well. A couple big fish right up here in front of me. I do not think they're bass though. Probably carp or suckers. That one was a bass though. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh man, I snagged him. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I hope my jig just pulls off of him. And that even felt like something thumped it there. Probably just him flapping his tail after he felt my jig. Thank you. I got a big old carp scale on there. Oh, just a little one. Oh man, he tore the crap out of my plastic though. That sucks. Plus he bent my hook up. Man, look at that. That thing's all jacked up. Yeah, good enough. Talk some new one of these guys on there and get her back in the water. There we go. That one thumped it. That one was definitely not a carp. Ooh, this is nice. He's got me into that current. I 
Oh, maybe this is a carp. I don't think so, though, because it definitely felt like he thumped it. Jump, I missed him. I was looking at my reel. Pretty sure that was a bass. Oh, yeah, it is. There he is. Right there. If he was out of guess he would have been a little bit bigger than that, but. I guess the current helps make his bite seem a little bit bigger. Man, look at that smallie. What a pretty fish. Absolutely beautiful. All right, that's what we were looking for. Players to get that hook out of them. All right, let's get that guy back over there. Throw it over there right where I caught that last one. See if he's got a buddy hanging out. Oh yeah, he definitely did. Jeez, I don't even think that thing hit the bottom over there. And he's off into that current. <laughs> Pulling drag. Man, smally fishing is so much fun. I don't want him to pull me all the way into that tree over there. Come on back here. He just does not want to give up. So I'm fishing a five foot 10, medium, extra fast, St. Croix Legend Tournament Rod with an Abu Garcia Revo MGX 20 reel. It's got 12 pound trilian sensation on that. as that fish peels flying off my spool. There's gotta be a big one. I'm getting him close here. Oh, there he is. like the twin sister of that last one. Gotcha. Nice. And 
And look at the beautiful color of that fish. Nice golden bronze color. That is gorgeous. something moving around right up here in front of me. I don't know if that was a bass or another one of those carp. I think it was a bass. Yep, that's a bass. Come on back here, you. They just get in that current and they're gone. right back at me. It's not even all that big, but man, that current definitely amplifies their fight. Nice little chunky guy there. having fun out here today. Yeah, I saw that one sitting right up in front of me. I wasn't even sure it was a bass, but sure enough, he came and gave my jig a nice thump. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna head downstream, try a couple other spots and See what we can find. And I'm gonna throw a new plastic on my jig here. Those three smallmouth chewed that one up pretty good. So I did move downstream here, pretty much right by where I launched. We'll throw that jig out in front of this building a few times. See if we get any takers. It's nice and deep out in front of there with some scattered boulders. Should be a small ear two in there. There's one. What a pretty fish. I got a feeling he wasn't alone over there. There's one.
He's got some nice head shakes. Beauty. Another nice one. We'll get him back in the water and then I think I'm gonna head downstream a little farther. something big down there. I think it was a carp. That's a good one. Yep, I'm gonna get that one in the net. Wow. Drop that anchor so we don't go drifting downstream. Jeez, look at this smallmouth. That is a friggin' tank. Uh-oh, must have been a little bit too deep for my anchor. Well, we'll just go drifting. I'm gonna toss this guy on the measuring stick real quick, though. Oh, look at that. He is... 19 and three quarters. Jeez, that is a tank. There's one. I was hanging out over there in a pile of sticks. I'm working my way downstream. I did switch over to a bitsy bug jig. A lot of sticks and logs down here, so that other jig didn't have a weed guard. Probably would have been getting snagged up every other cast. Wow, look at that one. Nice dark color. I tied on a quarter ounce black Bitsy Bug jig with a Z-Man TRD Cross for a trailer on that. I got that one to bite.
There we go. Man, I thought I was snagged up there for a second. But nope, that is definitely a fish. Ooh. It's nice, whatever it is. Please let this be a bass, <laughs> not a carp. I think it is a bass. It's a nice little spot right there for a smallmouth to be sitting. Pretty sure that's what this is. That is a tank smallmouth. Come here, you gotcha. Man, look at that smallie. Jeez, that is a tank. Man, I thought for a second there I snagged into a carp. He's just kind of dead weight going downstream with that current there. Wow. I'll get a quick measure on that one. About 19 and a quarter. Jeez, quality fish though. All right. I think I'm gonna call it a day on that fish. It's a good one to end it on. I've got a little bit of a paddle to get back up to where I started from, so I'm gonna start heading that direction. Man, what an awesome day it's been though. Felt great to be back out here on the river chasing smallies again, and we found some nice ones out here today. So I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.